Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. So we're still at the fair the rest of the week. Weather looks pretty perfect. Good. Uh, yeah. For when we're there, Thursday, Friday, it's perfect. Saturday, no, but mm. yeah. Saturday's bad. Early, late, mm. or all day? A little hard to say at this point. I lean towards early and midday is when the rain showers are most prevalent. But we'll take a look here at what's going on. We've got temperatures falling off. I still think we're going to cool off 10 more degrees in the next uh, seven, eight hours, something like that. Dew points down in the 40s to about 50. So the air has been coming in from Canada. It's a very dry air mass and almost without exception, it stays that way going forward. So what is the exception? It's Saturday, especially Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and then Sunday. That is the little humid blip in between cold fronts over the weekend. So it'll help keep Saturday night a warmer night as we go forward. A couple clouds out there. It is interesting to see these straggler showers just northwest of Albany, but uh, the front is long gone to the south. Generally speaking, dry with a mostly clear to totally clear sky by tomorrow morning. So Merchants Row looks good right now. Temperature there 60 degrees. Wind is calm. In Brattleboro, the flag's moving a little bit. Temperature is still about 67 and the dew point 55. But again, the cooler, drier air is still working in. So on Lake Champlain tomorrow, waves one foot or less, barely any wind, maybe a little wind out of the north. Water temp is 70. So let's show you how it goes on Futurecast. Sunshine all through Thursday. Temperatures in the 70s, even Friday mostly sunny. But if you're west of Lake Champlain in New York, there will be a few more clouds on Friday because the warm front's getting close. But most of Vermont and New Hampshire should be sunny on Friday. And then the warm front gets in here. Uh, it's basically a warm front and cold front right next to each other. But that weather system, we'll put it that way, gets in on Saturday. So Saturday morning, there's some sun in Vermont mixing with the clouds that are increasing. And the showers are starting to come in in New York. But you'll see how they spread in as we get towards the afternoon hours. The clouds probably even thicker as we get to Saturday afternoon. And look what the wind's doing at that time. It is gusty out of the south, perhaps 30 miles per hour. So there's waves on Lake Champlain. The humidity really pops up. The clouds thicken and the showers come through. Not an all day rain, but I think everyone gets wet at least a couple times on Saturday. So until then, we've got this ridging in the jet stream, but Watch what happens as we get into Monday of next week. A big dip, and it is very temporary. Emphasis on temporary. So just Labor Day is the chilly day with temps in the 60s. Then we moderate as we go into the rest of next week. So chilly by morning, 41 Saranac Lake, 48 in Newport. Here comes the extended forecast. No problem through Friday, almost back to 80 on Friday. Then the clouds, the showers, the storms, the wind, and the humidity on Saturday into Saturday night. Uh, we think that we're mostly dry on Sunday. Look at that 83 beautiful should be another round of showers though Sunday night into Monday morning. That's another front. That's how we get back to 67 on Labor Day and then wow, it looks amazing next week. 70s climbing back to 80 with sun. Brian Liz.